Last ditch talks between Eurozone finance chiefs on what to do about Greek debt ended with no agreement. A split occurred between major EU nations over new proposals put forward by Athens to secure up to 80 billion euros for the country in exchange for yet more austerity. We are determined not to pay. Creating an invoice which everyone knows cannot be trusted. The Greek government has shown political determination. It is a very important element of trust that needs to be rebuilt between the institutions and countries of Europe and the government of Greece. Now, these talks will resume later on Sunday between Eurozone finance ministers in a meeting already billed as decisive, like many before. Let's cross live now to Artis Dan Hawkins in Athens, uh, joining us for more details on this. Good to see you, Dan. Uh, can you talk to us about how deep the division is uh, currently among the Eurozone leaders? Well, Rory, it's deep and appears to be getting deeper uh, as, as the talks progress. Eurozone ministers are currently negotiating, uh, but the mood, I have to say, is not optimistic. It's changed from a mood of, uh, of hope yesterday for some form of resolution. Uh, to this crisis, to, uh, as you heard there earlier, a political deadlock. Uh, what was a split for the last several months between the Greek government and the EU members has now become a split uh, within the, uh, the European Union itself. Uh, it's divided essentially into two camps, the so-called fiscal hawks who are led by Germany and the North European countries such as Finland. Uh, they believe that the bailout should not go ahead under the current proposals and their solution to the crisis is a temporary Greek exit from the euro, a five-year exit. Uh, the Greek government, it has to be said, has so far rejected that proposal. Uh, the other camp is led by France and President Francois Hollande and countries in southern Europe such as Italy. Uh, they believe that the EU should do everything possible to maintain unity and to keep Greece uh, and the Greek economy afloat and part of that union. Uh, now, it has to be said that trust is a central issue to solving this conundrum and it's that which is uh, so severely lacking at the moment around the, uh, the negotiating table. Eurogroup chief uh, Joran Dusselblum has pulled no punches about how he believes Greece should go about rebuilding that confidence. Well, uh, well, they'll have to listen to the ministers and the institutions first and to see what improvements are uh, needed. Uh, and they will have to show very, very strong commitment uh, to rebuild that trust. Well, it's unclear at the moment what the outcome of those negotiations will be. They have been ongoing since the early hours and continue into today. Uh, what is clear is that the Greek people here on the ground face continuing uncertainty over the action their government and the EU will take. And indeed, the Greek economy does appear to be running out of time, despite those capital controls installed by the Greek government uh, to stop the outflow of cash from the country. Uh, the banking system will eventually run out of liquidity. And if some solution is not found, uh, the Greek economy simply faces a risk of imploding. All right, Artisa, Dan Hawkins, live in Athens. Thank you for that. Well, on Thursday, the Tsipras government performed a bit of a U-turn and pledged to accept more austerity measures. But still, the Germans called the plan far from sufficient. Athens is now asking for 53.5 billion euros, also that of debt restructuring. In exchange, it promises to raise corporate tax to 28 percent and scrap tax discounts enjoyed by some Greek islands. The country also plans to raise the retirement age to 67. And those who stop working earlier will have their pensions cut. But there is doubt that even if a deal with creditors is reached, the Eurozone can ultimately be saved. We're already starting to uh, play for blame game points rather than uh, uh, honestly negotiating. My, my impression is that we're going to see a Brexit within the next few months, either because there is no deal today or tomorrow, or because there's a deal and the conditions and benchmarks. The word used by the Germans was benchmarks and milestones imposed are very, very, very short term, 14, 15 days, and they won't be met.